Congratulations. I am so chuffed I'm with chuffed. you in this I'm award. Really it's chuffed. amazing. Viewer voted. Yeah. You've been in that show since when did you start? 19? The beginning. No, no, not the beginning. 19. Yeah, 19, 19. Uh, it's 27 years ago. And still winning the awards, still getting the viewer well, votes. Well, that's, that's the great thing, isn't it? You know, to, to still be doing it 30 years later, it's not, it's not easy. As it gets, you know, the longer and longer you're there, the harder it gets in a way. Well, that's the thing, because they've got to work harder and harder in coming up with storylines so you're going to keep him engaged. So you have been through the mill a yeah, little bit. Certainly yeah. in this last year, we've revisited the alcoholism again. Yeah. Has that been tough to play? It's looked it hard has on screen. been, yeah, yeah, it has been tough. As I say, I wish uh, I could just have a double mistake to me like most characters, instead of uh, years of misery. But I have to thank the writers for the misery and stuff that you put me through. You being one of the writers, Sharon. I've never told you, but I do love your work, by the way. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I really do love what your work. What a sweetheart. I was going to say, this is now going to sound like a mutual loving, but this man is the most professional worker I have ever seen on the set. That's true. But That's even true. if you're just in the background, you're always no, absolutely I'm always on, it. on I it. I can't help it. I just, yeah. It's my nature, really. I just, I wouldn't say I love it, but I just, as soon as I'm there, I'm, I don't know, I sort of, if you compare me to a football, I just, I don't just want to score a goal, I want to do a scissor kick, overhead scissor kick and break the back of the net. You know, I'm not just happy just milling around and doing humdrum stuff. I want to really smash it every time I get on there. Well, you sm you've smashed it, you've won I've the league, it, you've and got I'm really there. Happy. And you've got a dream team around you as well. So the Mitchells, I mean, one of the bits that made me cry this year, it was when he read the letter, yeah. my darling boy, yeah. from, um, of course, we saw the exit of Barbara Windsor as yeah. his mother, Peggy. Those tears to me look quite real. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, it was a it, it was a bittersweet thing, Barbara coming back because I knew that it was the you know the last time I was going to work with her, so I was really sad about that. So I suppose that helped fuel it. But I mean, in terms of depth of the Richter scale of one to ten, ten is the maximum, obviously. And losing your mum, there's nothing worse than that, is there? So you know, I, I had a really powerful storyline and a great actress to work with. So when I I actually had. I could hear Barbara saying those words when she was reading them out. They they read the playback for me. So when I heard those words, it really, you know, spiked me up and fired me up. I'm getting a bit emotional now, actually, even thinking about it. But it was. It was that line, yeah. my darling boy, I and know, how she'd Barbara, always loved it. You know, Barbara saying it. She's such a absolute joy and a wonderful person to work with. And I miss you, Bob. Really, really, really miss you. Barbara was like. She's our soap mum, isn't she? She's, she's, she's everything. Yes, when everyone asks show. me what's Barbara like, I say, whatever you hope she is, yeah. she's that times ten, because she's just absolutely a, the goddess of uh, TV, drama, British film, everything. She's just, I say I've been around the block, Barbara is the block. She is, and she's lovely. I'm not sure about calling her a block, but she's a goddess. <laughs> we'll stay with that. Oh, my goddess. <laughs> you know what I mean, Bob. <laughs> and, of course, the, the rest of the Mitchells around you, we had the return of Grant yeah. this year as well. Yeah. He did a great job. He did. Yeah. Do, you, do you think he'll be back again, or is he done now? You can't keep a good man down. I'm sure he'll be back. Yeah, he, he, he did really well. Yeah, he was a little bit nervous to begin with, as Ross admitted himself, but that went within 20 minutes. 20 minutes, he was back to his old self, and firing on all cylinders. He was brilliant. And as you say, it's 30 years, those storylines still keep coming. Yeah, I and it is hard, I've got to say it's hard because, you know, new people, you've never seen them before, you don't know what they can do, but when you've seen someone play drunk and you see it again and again, yeah. uh, getting a spin on it and connecting with the story and people, it's, it's, it doesn't get any easier and I'm, I'm really proud to, to keep it in up in the air for as long as I have so we do and then people still keep relating to the character and he still he still keeps getting the women which for an alcoholic is pretty much bed bound it's and nice, a isn't it? bit of a commitment folks so who we got we got Shirley yeah. we've got Sharon and we got Denise the baby yes. on the way oh, as well Kathy <laughs> Kathy is that as well yeah. well who do you think you should go for you which see, of these when, women when he and Bill, when Bill marries them <laughs> they die afterwards they just either leave or Chuck himself off a building, mine hang around, you know, and hope to uh, hope to see me again sometime. I don't they know. come back from no, the I dead. <laughs> yeah, um, who, who do you think you should be with? Who's the love of his life then? As you say, we've got we've got so many to choose from now. I think you should have a harem. Just a, just one little harem. You know, it's, a, it's never been done before. <laughs> just Phil Mitchell yeah. in the middle with all these women yeah, and tent. babies. Yeah, loads of loads of kids and. Talking of babies, there's another baby on the way. He's got his relationship with his on-screen sons as well. Are we going to see a, a bit of a different side of him coming up? I've got up absolutely boys? no idea. 
I, 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 as well, you know, you've worked there. I, I honestly get my script, I open it, I read it, and that's what I do that week. I don't, I don't like to read ahead. I don't like to know ahead because it confuses my simple mind. And uh, I just like to do one thing at a time. So I just, I, I literally open it, read it, concentrate on that week, and then next week I move on to the next. Well, thank you so much for doing one thing at a time so brilliantly. Can Thirty I just years. Say, Thank you to everybody who voted for me. I'm absolutely chuffed and over the moon. It's lovely to be appreciated. Thank you very much. Thank you. Legend. Thank you. Legend. To watch more exclusive YouTube videos, simply click here and subscribe. I promise you won't regret it. Everything has to fit in around Coronation Street. So, you know, when you're in storyline, it is 14 hour days, but when you're not, sometimes you can be off for weeks or... Mm. So with the music, we're having to play everything by ear. And obviously family takes priority for me. So time with Alfie comes first. And if there are things that, you know, he can get involved with, like he's at band rehearsals sometimes. And I he, he loves, loves it. it. He absolutely loves 